yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. What is going on, everybody? We are sitting here in the shop getting ready to work on the CTSB today. It is obviously sitting back there. Holy, that was so aggressive. What are you, oh my gosh. Today we're working on the CTSB and we're gonna be doing the heads and the cam hopefully and running some stuff for the expansion tank. We did get it mounted up as well as we got the uh, pump mounted up. A lot of action packed stuff for you guys today. Should be interesting. We gotta get this thing rolling if we wanna have it done in less than a week. We're hoping next Thursday we can test and tune this bad girl. It's gonna be tight. We'll find out. So you can see back here, Cooper's got his expansion tank. This could have gone both ways, but we decided to put it here and then put the pump forward. We've got some AN fittings sitting on there right now. So let's raise the car up and get fired up. Pull that brand new diff out of the box. Finally time to mount it up on the V. So does it make you happy to see possibly the most expensive thing you bought for this finally going to use? It's like half the value of the car. <laughs> This is the most expensive piece for the entire build, but it is probably the most critical. If your diff blows out, there ain't much you can do. Oh, dude, that thing's a beast. Oh, yeah. Yes. Look at that. Ho, ho, ho. That looks really nice. <laughs> Holly, I know, it's a Ford part in a Chevy. Can you believe that? What is he doing? What is he doing? Ford in a GM car. All right, and the axles, let's see what you got. Wow, so this is their anti-wheel hop, I guess you could call it a strategy. Does they make one shorter and one little bit thicker? I don't know how or why that works, but apparently it's supposed to prevent wheel I hop. I think it's like an old school trick. Yeah, can you help, Holly? No? Can you do something? Yeah, please do something. Oh baby, this thing is in there, it's huge. But it looks so nice, dude. I'd be happy with that, Coop. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, I like it a lot. That's so nice, man. Supplied some lube for us to pre-lube the axles before putting them in the diff. And from there, we'll be pretty much good to go back here. Cooper, what do you have there? It's nice of them to give you some lube. Yeah. Here we have Cooper lubricating his axle before he sticks it in his rear end. Guys, we also recently obtained this parts washer for the shop, and it is so sick. Check this out. Look at that, how, it, how yeah. it gets all the grease. Yeah, it's crazy. It's so hot. Ready? Oh, baby. So we put Cooper's bell housing in it. You can see my old oil pan's been in there for a while, but that's going to clean that thing up. There's a bunch of clutch dust in it. It literally cleans the hell out of anything. Pretty freaking cool. It just takes detergent water, and then it heats the hell out of it and makes like a steam bath. It takes all the grease out. Just look at the grease yeah. in the bucket. It's cool. It's putting a bunch of grease in the bucket there. You can see it's got some sprayers in the back. This thing's a beast. So this is crazy. You guys know the pilot bearing, right? This is supposed to spin. Cooper's is completely locked up. Not that it's a huge issue, but it's definitely not good. This thing is dead locked up. So this is a rather well used pilot bearing as you can see as i hold the center it doesn't spin but maybe a quarter of an inch so it's it's pretty shot this is uh if we have a new one yeah here's a new one i definitely got my money's worth you got your money's worth cooper see this is a new one see it spins nice and smooth well boys and girls we are back and we are on day three i think now of working on the beef Right now, I'm about to pull the cam out, see the stock cam, and put in that new Texas Speed Performance Bald Eagle cam. We're gonna start reassembling the engine today, and we have to run the electrical for the fuel pumps as well as the expansion tank pump. But we're gonna wait till the very end to do all the electrical stuff, so I'm gonna start working on the engine, pull that cam out here in just a minute. First things first, I gotta pull the balancer, but pretty much everything else is taken apart.
Alrighty guys, so I got the front cover off and things actually look pretty good under here. I threw the front cover in the parts washer for a little bit. Now we are changing out the oil pump and we are doing the cam. So I'm gonna start taking some stuff apart in here, but man, I'm, I'm really impressed. For an engine with 115,000 miles on it, things look great under here. So we'll start disassembling now and putting it back together with the new parts. We do have a new oil pump and obviously that new Bald Eagle cam, so let's get right to it. The great thing about Cooper's car is we were able to move the AC condenser and the radiator out of the way. So I'll be able to pull the cam right out through here in between the bumper support and this top member here. Should slide out and go right through there. It'll be perfect. Plus the engine moves around really easily. I mean, you can see it wobbling in the time lapse. These engine mounts are really shot. Good thing we're putting in some new ones. All right guys, so the oil pump is off and everything looks so good, man, like this car. I'm telling you. So we have the crank at top dead center now. So I think I can just go ahead and start pulling off this cam sprocket and the chain and we'll get ready to uh, pull out the cam. All right, so as you guys saw, it was just those three bolts to get the cam sprocket off. And it looks like it's, uh, you know, totally normal. This is off, timing chain is in good shape. Really didn't have that much slack in it or anything like that, so that's good. Time to pull out the stock cam and get a good look at that. So we never took out the lifters, the stock lifters, so we are gonna pull those out, and Texas Speed did supply us with new ones, but if we're gonna pull the cam out, we gotta get the lifters out first. All right, guys, the lifters are perfect. No scoring on them or anything like that. They look pretty good. All right, guys, here's the moment of truth. Look at Cooper. He's so ready. Oh, baby, here she comes. Slowly but surely. Just gonna be as careful as we can with those stock bearings in there. Oh baby, yeah. Minimum leverage. Oh, there it is. You can come right through. Woo! Nicely done. Awesome, dude. Let's check it out. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, man. You definitely see where. <laughs> yeah, you can see where it rode, but Dude, it looks really good. All right, guys, the cam is out. That is good news. So we'll get that Texas Speed and Performance Bald Eagle cam out now. Start putting it in. We are on our way, man. It's coming along. So right here, we've got this super fresh Texas Speed and Performance Bald Eagle cam. You can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but it says LSA on it. This is the boost or supercharger setup cam. Should do some serious wonders in the old LS6. Pumped to have this in here. It ran so good when we had it in Leroy, so it should rip in the V. So Cooper's cleaning it up right now. He's putting on a fresh set of gloves and he's gonna come back and put this cam in. I'm so excited, guys. The V project is coming along nicely. All right, Cooper is about to insert his cam shaft into his engine. She's all lubed up, oiled up. Man, it's so shiny. Oh, looks like you got the tip in there. Okay. Oh, oh, careful now. Oh, we got a we got a glove breach. Uh oh. Trouble on the field. Going to the other side. It's looking good, man. Yep. Oh yes, dude, you're like an expert. We look so pro right now. Yes. Yas. Taking a break, breather. Switching my hand. The end is near. You are so close. Oh, there you go. Ooh, it's in. <sighs> nice work. Is that intense? That's pretty stressful. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, man. Awesome. New cam is in. There are officially some serious bald eagles inside this thing. All right, guys, so the reassembly now begins. We have to put the front cover back together, put the new oil pump on, reconnect it, which is going to be difficult because of the way I kind of dropped the pan. Seal up some things, clean up some things, obviously, before we put the front cover on, and we will have this thing on its way to be putting back together. We might even start on the heads today, which would be cool. We'll definitely start soaking the lifters right now, getting things rolling. Reassembly has begun, guys. All right, here we have McFarland race engines putting together the race yeah. engine. <laughs> Okay guys, so everything went really well with the cam swap. As far as we know, 
Right now I'm putting the balancer back on. Got a balancer installer tool right there. Gonna slide that puppy on and pin it out. Cooper is working on a couple of things with the brakes, but we are wrapping up for the day. This is gonna be it for episode two of Supercharging the V. We are getting really, really close and we're so freaking excited to fire this thing up. We are pumped. Jeremy is planning on tuning it early next week. So we're close guys. We really are close and we're super excited. So for now guys, thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We will see you later.